Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to run Django in VS Code, Visual Studio Code. So open the Visual Studio Code and if I go on this, so here, Explorer. So we need to open the folder. So let's uh, create uh, one folder on the desktop. You can create anywhere. So new and here, folder. Now here, I am giving the folder no name, Jack. Now press enter, here after let's click on this open folder. Now here this is in the desktop jack. Now here after uh, this is the jack folder, if I click on this uh, new file on the plus. So here let's give the file abc.py. So first I am going to do the testing with uh, python. So when I write here dot uh, abc.py automatically I am getting the message do you want to install recommended extension for python click on this install so here python is now installing now here after so before you are doing this everything so first uh, we need to install python so here if I open the command prompt and if I write here python so python 3.7 that uh, I already downloaded and installed so first uh, you should install python any version but I highly recommend you you should use python 3.7 so python that already installed now here after so this uh, uh, here this uh, python package that installed now here after the next is here I'm going to or uh, test the python so let's write print and uh, writing in the double code hello world now here after control s to save and uh, right click on it here run python file in the terminal so it's so uh, running so here you can see hello world it's a uh, printing now the next uh, here when that uh, all done so I'm going to check uh, which uh, Django is uh, installed there. So here you can see import uh, Django now if I right click and uh, run python file in the console. So here I'm getting the masses import Django no module name Django. So there is the problem with uh, this, uh, here it not finding so we need to go on the view command palette and uh, select uh, interpreter. So here python 3.7.9 is in my uh, system so clicking this now there is no any problems again click on this run python file in the terminal. So this time there is no any problem hello world it's a printing and uh, Django version 2.216. Now here after the next uh, is uh, here. So we need to create uh, one uh, directory. So here we need to use Django admin uh, start project. So let's go on the terminal. So we need to copy this once again and uh, paste there so here you can see there is no any uh, manage.py file is there so inside the jack i'm creating one or uh, sub directory the name or uh, let's give uh, lenovo now press enter so here you can see lenovo sub directory it's uh, created and inside you can see this uh, this is the manage py and this all file now here after i'm going to uh, start the server so here python manage py so manage py is inside to uh, lenovo so we need to change the directory first so let's uh, write here lenovo now directory that changed or uh, manage server you can see inside the Lenovo. Now press enter. So here it's uh, now you can see this all those things. So first I'm going to copy this. 
open your any favorite browser and paste there so here I'm getting this kind of message that means here Dizango is now working perfectly now hereafter I'm going to print hello world program using Dizango so here you cannot see any views file so right click on it here new and uh, writing views dot py so this is the views file and uh, inside there going to use this from this angle and uh, paste there now here after open url and uh, inside there i'm going to or uh, use uh, this command so let's uh, copy this command and uh, control a and delete control v now here project name that is the uh, lenovo now when that uh, all done here just scan or run this so here or you can use this run python file in the terminal so here it's uh, successfully run or you can use from here run python from the terminal so it's uh, done now here after when i do the refresh here i did not it did not change anything so what we need to do so here click on uh, start debugging so here we need to select uh, Dizango and uh, press enter so here you can see c manage py and uh, here this all those thing it's come there so uh, here there is the no such file and directory so do one thing the file is in views dot this, this is in Lenovo so we need to change here cd Lenovo now here we need to after changing this let's uh, use python manage py run server paste and enter so here it's uh, running and uh, now here if i refresh so here you can see hello world it's a uh, printing so like this if i do any changes hello world how are you control s to save and uh, if i refresh here so hello world how are you it's a uh, display so this is the important uh, steps so this is the way we can here run Dizango inside Visual Studio Code. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.